Good morning, class. Our topic for today, it's all about now. Okay. Learning objectives. Learning object objectives, student will be able to explain the rule of a noun and to be able to identify noun and a sentence. Let us proceed the introduction. First, share with the student the purpose of learning grammar so that we can become better speaker and writers. Second, tell student that today they will be learning about what a noun is and how to find them in a sentence. Third, ask a student to look around the room and look for objects. Call on a few students to share their items. Fourth, explain that all of those objects are nouns which are the words we use for people, place, and things. Okay, class, we are going to the main topic. Okay, class, do you know what is noun? Anyone? Okay, very good. A noun is the name of a person, place, of being in a sentence. Now can play the role of subject, direct object, indirect object, subject complement, object complement, apostate, or modifier. Noun can define the place, thing, and person. Example, place, Cebu City, New York and Philippines, and etc., etc. Person. Example, Bernadette and I, we are going in the, in the school library. Okay, class, can I ask, what is the correct form of a noun? Okay, very good. To determine the correct form of a noun, use a singular noun for one person of being an apple. Use a plural noun for two or more people or thing, some apple. Okay, let us proceed the type of noun. Number one, proper noun. A proper noun, the particular name of the place or a person is known as the proper noun. A proper noun is a noun that serves as the name or a specific place, person, or thing to distinguish them from common nouns. Proper nouns are always ca capitalized in English. Proper nouns include personal names, place names, name of com companies, and organizations. And the title of book, films, songs, and other media. The importance of proper noun is proper noun identify specific people, place, and things. Use proper nouns correctly. Clarifies your writing and ensure that readers know exactly what you're talking about. Second, common noun. The common noun name give to every person place, thing, or activity belonging to the same kind is known as the common noun. A common noun is a, na a name of a particular person, place, activity, or idea. A common noun is a noun that describes a type of person, thing, or place, or that names a concept. Common nouns are not capitalized unless they appear at the start of a sentence. Unlike proper nouns, which are always capitalized. An example, a common noun is a noun specifically person, place, or thing. For example, dog, girl, and country are example of common nouns. In contrast, proper nouns name a specific person place or thing, they are the opposite or proper nouns, which are specific 
nouns, while proper nouns are capitalized, common nouns do not need to be capitalized. Third, concrete noun. The name used for the materials are the thing which have physical existence or that materials are tangible and nature are known as concrete nouns. A concrete noun is a noun that refers to a physical thing, person, or place. Something or someone that can be perceived with the five senses. Number one, touch, hearing, sight, smell, and taste. A concrete noun is a noun describe a physical entity that can be perceived with the sense. Concrete nouns may refer to things. Example, phone, hat, place, and another example, France, the post office, or people and animals. Example, dog and doctor. Fourth, countable noun. Countable noun are nouns that can be counted and plural, that can be occur in a noun, phrase, with a numeral or an indefinite article. Nouns are used for things we can count using numbers. They have a singular and a plural form. The singular form can use the determine a or an. Countable nouns can be counted. Examples, an apple, two apples, three apples, and etc. Uncountable nouns cannot be counted. Examples, air, rice, water, and etc. The importance of countable nouns is knowing if a noun is countable or uncountable. It is important because it can help you correctly contract a sentence and helps you to determine whether to use words like fewer or less and many or more. the example of noun in sentences. Number one, his brother is a professor in this college. Okay, class, what is the noun in this sentence? Okay, very good. The professor. Second, the people wear cotton clothes in the hot weather. Again, class, what is the noun in this sentence? Okay, the clothes. Number three, the people of this generation are dependent on technology. So now, what is the noun in this sentence? Okay, very good. The generation. Four, a teacher is a very important person in our life. He teach us to learn and write. Okay, class, what is the noun in this sentence? Okay, very good. The teacher. Number five, the television is an electronic device. We can watch news on it. Okay, class, again, what is the noun in this sentence? Okay, class, very good. The television. Number six, you should always speak the truth. Okay, class. What is the noun in this sentence? Okay, very good. The truth. Okay, class, this is one of the example of noun in sentences. That's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.